Welcome to Dead Does Fitness. Today we're sitting here in the airport, got a, to uh, where I'm going a little early, so I have some time to kill. Figure why not do a video. Today we're going to talk about what's the best workout for you. Simply put, that's the workout or the exercise you enjoy doing. If you don't enjoy it, you're not going to stick with it. Exercise shouldn't be like going to the DMV. When you're 16, you're super excited the first time you go. You're getting your license, you're going to be able to drive on your own. So you're excited. After that, you go to the DMV, you're not excited about it, you're dreading it. And if you do that with your exercise or your workout, you're not gonna keep going. You're gonna make excuses not to go. When you're there, you're not gonna be into it as much. You're not gonna stick with it, eventually you fail on it. If you treat exercise more like going to your favorite restaurant, you're gonna be excited for it. You like being there. When you're there, you're gonna put more effort into it because you're high energy, you're excited to be there. So, I recommend figuring something you like out. Now, I know most people think running is your cardio and going to your standard gym, lifting some weights, doing that is gonna be what you have, but there's so much more. Cardio is obviously you can run, hike, speed walk, whatever you wanna do there. You can bike, mountain bike, road bike, cycling, spin, stationary bike, swimming, both indoor, outdoor. You can do pools, you can do open water, like a lake, river, ocean, wherever you've got near you. Um, then there's rowing, both on the water or with a rower, like a rowing machine. You've got, Let's see, skating, both ice or roller skates, and then cross-country skiing. And they even have wheeled skis, so you can do that on a smooth bike path or a smooth road by your house. Now, you do have your standard gyms. They're going to have some cardio equipment. They're going to have some free weights and then some cables, so you can do isolation on different muscle groups. And some bigger to medium-sized gyms are going to have studios where they'll do group fitness, spin classes, yoga, Pilates, different kind of core sculpt group classes. Um, and your high-end gyms that are me, those bigger, larger ones, are going to usually have some pools. They're going to have more studios. They might have a basketball court, tennis, um, possibly a climbing wall. But there's also specialty gyms, which is going to be your CrossFit, your powerlifting gyms, your martial art, kickboxing type gyms. They have climbing gyms that are going to have rock walls with all the different pegs, progression you can do there. There's dance classes, Zumba, different kinds of salsa, which are great workouts, even pole dancing. So find out what you like there. Um, and then there's also going to be your like no gym needed. So calisthenics, just push-ups, pull-ups, sit-ups, squats. You know, you can get a weighted vest to add intensity to that. Really all you need is a bar to do pull-ups on or some kind of suspension system there. Or even a park that has jungle gym marquee bars. A lot of, you know, park districts have some area where you can do that. So these are options. Now if you start to go and try a couple different things, you're gonna find out what you like. Now, I know there's gonna be two aspects that you're gonna to have to worry about, budget and location. If you live in Miami, winter sports are definitely gonna be out. Snowshoeing, not gonna happen. But if you live in Fargo, North Dakota, parasailing, or uh, not parasailing, windsurfing, surfing, ocean, and most like water sports are gonna be out for a good chunk of the year. So obviously location's gonna play into it and then budget. Now to start, really all you need is a pair of comfortable gym shoes, fit well, and then some comfortable shorts, t-shirt, shirt, whatever, depending on the weather near you. Um, and then as you progress, you can always invest more in better high-end stuff. The biggest thing is starting out at your own level. Don't compare yourself to other people, especially people that have been there. Oh, pause. And then, so you have your level. And then take advice from people that are a little better than you. Don't be afraid to listen to some just people that are there as coaches, um, whether they're actually work there or just people that have been doing it a while because they've, again, started at some point. So get their input on things. So you've got that. And then now that we're kind of starting, now if budget's an issue, most gyms, and even if even budget isn't an issue, most gyms will have some kind of trial period or like punch card system where you'll get 10 punches or one week, one month for a discounted rate to get you that trial, to get you in to try things. So get that in before you commit to a long-term contract with the gym. Because if you don't like it again after those two, three times, well then you didn't invest much as opposed to, all right, it's $600 for the year, done. And then you're like, oh, this is terrible. I don't enjoy this. I mean, so I love cardio. I love running. I love swimming. I love biking. I cannot stand spinning. My wife loves to spin. She loved her spin class at the gym. Well, with gyms closing because of COVID, we actually invested in a spin bike for our basement. I have never used it. I've had no desire to. She uses it all the time. So once you figure out you know you like something, then maybe investing in home equipment is good because then you, especially with younger kids, if you don't have as much time to go out, so once they go down for, you know, when they're going to bed, then you can go work out in the basement. 
which is always a big win for myself and my wife. I have a rower in the basement as well. She doesn't like to row, I love to row. So if all I could do was row, like do the spin bike, I wouldn't work out. But if all she could do was row, she wouldn't work out. So we each have our own cardio equipment in the basement that we can do and get our workout in. Um, if you do live in a condo or apartment, I would consider noise a factor with some of the workouts. The rower is a little loud. We live in a house, so it's in the basement, so it's not bad. But if it's on the floor, you're going to want to get a water rower or a magnet rower because it is quieter. And then even if you're trying to look into some equipment, I know most bike shops will do like a day rental. So you can rent the bike for $50 or so and you can try riding if you have an area near you that you want to maybe think that this would be a good place to ride. Go give that a shot. Uh, REI is another great place for things. If you're $20 for a membership for life. And with REI, if you tr get something and you don't like it, you can return it, no questions asked. So that's always an option. So if you're like, all right, I'm gonna try this, try that, because you like outdoors more and you want to be in nature, on the trails, hiking, run, like mountain biking, running, you can get stuff, give that a shot. If you don't like it, you're able to return it. For 20 bucks for a membership, it's not really that bad, especially because again, it's a one-time membership deal. Um, and again, with some of these other gyms, like CrossFit and that, they usually have workouts. So you'll be able to work out with people. And if fitness and group, being part of a group or a community is a big thing for you, that's great because then you're with people. I personally like to do things on my own. It's my quiet time to get away and vent. But at the same time, I know a lot of people that love the group fitness. Again, my wife misses that part of spin and yoga and she do Pilates and some of those core classes. So she misses that. Now me, I don't enjoy that at all. I want to do my thing, get in, get out. Some people go to the gym for social hours because they can talk to people in between sets. So if that's you, gyms, group fitness classes might be the better option for you. And then the last thing would be if maybe you can't really get into any of these just like doing fitness, but you want some kind of goal. Well now, most cardio you can do racing, which then gives you that competitiveness. The other thing is joining a park district or like a YMCA, a lot of them have rec leagues. So you can do basketball, football, soccer, indoor, outdoor softball leagues where you can get into a group and be part of a team even if you don't have a full team a lot of times they can assign you to so you're gonna meet some new people be able to play a sport that you enjoy and then maybe you'll want to work out a little bit oh. all terminals are smoke free smoking is permitted at designated curbside areas only don't smoke the airport said so but if you can you know find a sport that you like then maybe you'll want to do a little more cardio so that you're better at the sport so you're gonna have that as some motivation to keep exercising so Take one point. Make sure you start finding exercise you work. Try a few things. Even if you already have one or two that you already like, maybe give another classroom a try. And before you commit, give it, you know, the trial period. And if you really like it, then invest. And if you really like something, maybe look to invest for home equipment. But again, you gotta get out there, you gotta get started. That's the best way to get going. So if you like the content, please consider subscribing, liking the video, drop a comment. Thank you.